welcome back to another video so today is going to be another book haul video of books that i've bought and books that i've been gifted so let's get into the video so the first book is one that i bought myself from waterstones and it is the way i used to be by amber smith so it says on the back all eden wants is to rewind the clock to live that day again she would do anything, everything differently, not laugh at his jokes or ignore the way he was looking at her that night. And she would definitely lock her bedroom door, but Eden can't run back time, can't turn back time. So she buries the truth along with the girl she used to be. She pretends she doesn't need friends, doesn't need love, doesn't need justice. But as her world unravels, one thing becomes clear. The only person who can save Eden is Eden. Eden, I mean... So this book is part of my 12 months 12 books challenge that I'm doing. It was meant to be one that was in March of this month, but as when I was going to go and get it, didn't have it in the store at the time, I changed it. So this month I'm now reading Twisted Love, and this is going to be the one that I read next month, which I have heard so many good things about this. So I'm hoping that I find it good like everyone else's that I've heard so far <laughs> but I'm gonna have to just see that when I read it so the next one is Icebreaker and it says Anastasia has worked her entire life for a shot at Team USA it looks like everything is going according to plan when she gets a full scholarship at the University of California at Maple Hills and lands a place on the competitive figure skating team nothing will stand in her way not even the captain of the hockey team nate hawkins nate's focus as ho as captain is on keeping his team on the ice which is tricky when a financially mismatch means they are forced to share a rink with the figure skating team including anastasia who clearly can't stand him but when anastasia skating partner faces an uncertain future she may have to look to nick to nate to take her shot i have heard a lot about this it's, uh, this book is either you hate it or you love it and i've heard good things about it and it's not like your typical romance book from what i've heard so far is she is like how do i explain it he's the nice guy in it let's just say that and she's the typical like i don't want to say show off girl but you know what i'm on about when i'm trying to explain it i hope you do anyway so i'm hoping that i do love this book i have heard good stuff about it but like i said it's either a you love the book or you hate the book so i'm hoping that i love it so the next one is this lie will kill you by chelsea picture and it says one year ago there was a party at the party someone died until now no one has told the truth about what happened that night tonight the five survivors arrive at the at an isolated mansion expecting to complete in compete in a contest with a £50,000 prize. Nobody questions the odd, rather exclusive invitation until it's too late. Five survived. Five arrived, but not all can leave. Will the truth set them free, or will their lives destroy them all? So, I've heard stuff about this. It is for people that like, you know the Netflix series, One of Us is Lying. Apparently, it's kind of like that. And I love the series. I've got the first two books. I just haven't read them yet so i am gonna have to read them but i do want to read this because i'm hoping it is a really good book from what i've heard so far a lot of people do like it i'm just hoping that i'm another one that likes it so another one that i can't wait to just read so the next one are book mail that i have been given i have already opened them because I wanted to see what they were and I couldn't wait till the video to see what they were but let's get into it also please ignore my eyelashes they don't seem to want to stick on <laughs> okay so the first one I've got is Daughter of the Pirate King I have seen um, I've seen Hayley Pam read this I'm pretty sure it was her I might be getting that wrong and 
I'm pretty sure she she rated it like a high, not score, but high rating. And I just wanted to read it also because the front cover, I don't know what it is. I just like the front cover. So um, I wanted to get it. But basically it's about a 17 year old who obviously is the daughter of a pirate king. And she's on a mission or a quest to go and find this Asian map. And she ends up having to get kidnapped by another like pirate thing. I don't I don't even know what they call it. It's like why well, can't I remember what they're called? I wanna say pirate team or but I know that's not what it is. I just can't remember. Is that pirate crew? I'm gonna say crew. Okay. So she gets kidnapped by another pirate crew to try and find this map so she has to explore the ship so that's why she got kidnapped but the captain of that crew ends up well she ends up I'm guessing liking him or falling for him and it doesn't end well because she's falling for the captain of a different crew while she's the daughter of a different captain crew what? She's a she's the daughter of another crew captain. I'm so bad at explaining this. But yeah, that's what this is about anyway. <laughs> and the next one, it came with two books. So the first one is Sorry Bro. And the second one is the final offer it is the last one and i didn't know that i put the last one on my amazon wish list i did think it was the first one i should have checked but i've only got the last one i haven't got the first two so i am gonna have to get them before i read this one anyway but this is a massive book <sighs> so first one sorry bro is so this one is about a girl called Na Nava no Na that's her name and she gets proposed to well she gets no her boyfriend proposes to her and I'm guessing she says yeah but since I'm guessing she says no I don't know don't say on the back but she, not that long after she ends up realizing that she wants to find someone else she doesn't want to be with this person so she talks to her mum about it and her mum wants her to find a man that's on facebook she she named it as facebook stalked men but her mum sends her to this event and she ends up seeing this playboy doctor as it says on the back and it says that he caught her right boy ended up actually being a girl and she fell in love well they fell in love and then she ended up coming out as bisexual that's pretty much what it says on the back <laughs> but i haven't heard anyone read this i haven't heard anything about it i just seen it added it to my wish list just because i like the cover I have a problem with doing this. If I like the cover, I'll just add it to my wish list. Even if I don't know anything about it. So the last one is the final offer. It's about a boy that moved away because of something that went on with his, like in his past, with his childhood best friend, which was also the girl, the only girl that he's ever loved. And he ended up breaking her heart six years ago, so he moved away. And he ends up being called back to come and get his um, his granddad's inheritance. And he ends up having to go and spend the summer at the, his family's lake house before he can sell it. And when he goes to go and sell it, his best friend slash ex, ex, is in the house like she's living in the house and she's like saying that she owns it and then it says then it talks about her and 
her side of the story and she's she's saying that her name is the one that's on the deed for the house so there's something going down there and why they're both there but I'm gonna have to get the first two first before I read this one because I think this is one of them um, saves that you have to read it in order you can't read it like whenever whichever one you want but that's the end of this video please like comment and subscribe and I'll be back for the next video Bye.